Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be decorating a currently page for the month of July for my catch-all Happy Planner. I have a sticker book pulled here from the Happy Planner called Cozy Critters. It came out, I think, maybe last year. I have never used it, but it's got all the pets and different things in it. It's got boxes and everything that we're going to need for the spread. And then I've also pulled out my Mojo Jojo Plans currently prompts sticker book. And this sticker book did sell out really quickly, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. Um, but if it restocks, then definitely pick it up. But she probably will restock it since it sold out so quickly. But I don't know that for sure. So keep an eye on Mojo Jojo Plans shop because she's always coming out with new sticker books. But let's go ahead and get started. I want to, um, a lot of times for my currently spread, I just in, end up decorating it with boxes and um, decorative stickers just because I do use it as a traditional currently page that the Happy Planner originally designed um, back a long time ago. So the first thing we need to do is you decide which kind of theme we're going to go with because you've got different colors going on. You've got like the peaches and the, the teals and the pinks and stuff. So I haven't actually done that yet. I kind of like the pinks, but actually, let me also say, I like to decorate my currently page to coordinate with the divider that it's going to be next to, and it's got this really pretty blue with the blue foil from the Cat Lady Planner that I've chose for my catch-all this year, so that's kind of what we're going to be uh, basing our decision on with which we're, what we're using. So I think that most of the stickers would coordinate, actually, so I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this big pink box here. And we'll start with that. I'm gonna do a little bit of whiting out. I'm not whiting that out yet because I don't know for sure what I'm gonna do with it. So we're gonna start here though. We'll just put that box down there. This is actually cute too, this large box that's uh, got all the cute little designs on it. I'm gonna put it down too and we'll just kind of layer around it. These picture frames are cute. Actually, I'm gonna take this off because I wanna have more room for some of that stuff. I'll put that book uh, back in the sticker book later. So let's go ahead and add in some of these cute little picture frames. And I'm gonna get some wax paper just so I can have something to kind of layer it on or lay it on to get an idea of where I want everything to go. This one is cute. And I don't, it doesn't necessarily have to be a cat spread. So I'm not really, I'm not gonna narrow it down to just cats. Oh, bird is cute. So maybe that's good for those. And then what if we grabbed, grabbed one of these. What about this one? Okay. And then while I've got this sticker book open, ahead and grab some boxes too because I'm going to need certain you know several boxes to write in and we'll need to make room for them let's do this blue one This one and then we've got these we can pull from okay let's go in with this light blue actually let's grab I'm gonna start with this one actually we'll put it here and then we'll put this here 
and I don't really have any rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of trying to make this a, a quicker spread. Put this little one here. I don't really want to cover up that lamp, so, and that lamp is on both of those stickers, so maybe I need to just do something different on that. I'm going to switch it out for the one with the little fruit bowl since it's, that's the only thing on this page that doesn't, is not in that sticker. So we're going to switch that out here. All right, so that's kind of cute the way that is set up. I'm going to put the little dog here. So far, we only have the dogs on the spread. <laughs> we need to get the other ones included. We'll put this one here. And then the bird. We may not have room for the bird, so let's go ahead and go back here. I am gonna set, keep this as priorities, but I'm gonna switch it out with one of these other headers. I saw something in here. There we go. Let's go ahead and white out the priorities and put, um, well, there's actually priorities is already on here. So let's use that. And then I'm gonna use a bullet point to cover up the numbers just to add a little bit more color. So let's go with the blue, but we'll put it at the bottom. And then, whoop, that's why I don't use these tweezers for bullet points because I always scrape it with the tip of it. So, but that's okay. Let's go in with a pink. If I do it like this, it's not as bad because the tip's not on the bullet point. And then let's go in with a, a light blue. And that's not quite big enough to cover up the two, so I'm gonna add a tiny little bit of white out just so that we're not getting the black showing. Okay, that's cute. Here, I am gonna white out the important because I don't really need that. And there's a lot of uh, like little washi tape strips in here. So let me go through and see if maybe something will work. There's that, that's got the pink on it, but I think I wanna add some more color up there. There's these. Actually, there's these two that's got like the quote on it. What about this Cherish Every Moment? It's got the light blue and the dark blue. This is kind of becoming a hodgepodge of a spread, but that's okay. It's a little bit outside of my normal. So we're gonna have to put that there. And then I think I want to add in some of this. So what if we got white out here we need to cover up? What if we put like a little dog or something on it? Let's do this little guy. Actually this one. His, his ears are a little bit wider so he should cover it up pretty, pretty nicely. Yeah, that's cute. What about the little blue bird? We'll put him, a, let's, let's see, we'll put him over here on this line right there. We've got smaller ones too. Need something over here. We got a turtle. So this is really turning into a hodgepodge. <laughs> oh wait, this little wiener dog, he'll cover up that white out at the bottom. Let's put him down here. Cute. <laughs> That's a cute little spread, even though it's a kind of a hodgepodge. All right, our little turtle can go there. What else? I think we just need our currently cr prompts and then we'll be finished. I'm gonna white out the noted off of here because I can use this um, for a currently prompt. So 
um, in the sticker book. I have a full flip through. I will link down below for you. But um, like I said, I think it is sold out. So um, I do apologize for that, but I still wanna use the sticker book. All right, let me um, find a font I wanna use. And in the sticker book, it's got clear and uh, sticker paper, white sticker paper rather. So let me take a second to figure that out. Okay, so I've got a, a page here with the um, this little font that looks like that, and I think I'm gonna use the just the white sticker paper, but we'll see. We're gonna say let's use a traveling one. Whoop! Nope, not this one. We do have a trip coming up, but it's not until August, so this is July. We need to. visiting we can put that down we did a um, we've had a trip to Chattanooga this uh, this month so to visit my my sister's family so we can put that down I can do a goal we are I'm gonna try to work on our house we've uh, I just ordered a new couch and I'd like to get some painting done and some new floors put in so that's been on my to-do list for a long time and we just don't do it and so I ordered the couch yesterday and so it's going to take like seven weeks to come in so we've got some time but I'm going to go ahead and put that down as a goal to start getting ready for that all right so um, I cut that top off just so it wouldn't um, interfere with the gold line actually I just messed that sticker up with my tweezers I'm gonna have to stop using those for um, putting down small items. <laughs> a lot of times I'll use these tweezers. They're just like little eyelash tweezers, or excuse me, eyebrow, like to pluck your eyebrows with, and they're a lot better for that because they're not, um, they're not so sharp and they don't scratch the sticker. And I'm not careful enough to, uh, to do it without scratching the sticker apparently. All right, so we're gonna put the goal back here. All right, and then here we can put celebrating. Obviously, the, in the month of July, we have 4th of July. And then one more. gonna put teaching I um, have mentioned before we uh, had a group from our church going to um, nationals our kids that you know it's like a competition to compete with Bible memorization singing artwork preaching I mean tons and tons and tons of categories um, but we had two puppet show groups go from our church and I coached both of the groups. And so um, they are going this month to nationals to compete. And so um, I'm gonna make a note of that, that we that I did that. So yeah, this is our spread for my currently page for the month of July using a couple of different sticker books, Cozy Critters from the Happy Planner. This, like I said, this sticker book came out last year. I don't think it's still available on the Happy Planner website, but I've got it linked down below for you. Um, it's an affiliate link for the Happy Planner. So if you use it, I do earn a small commission, but check it out and see if it is. And then Mojo Jojo Plans also is sold out. Um, but a Mojo Jojo Plans is always linked down below. Follow her shop, follow me. I will always try to announce when sticker books are releasing. I have an affiliate link for Mojo Jojo Plans down below. And if you do purchase from her, use my code Amanda10. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me as I put the spread together today. I hope you like it. If you do, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and take the time now to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss future videos. Thank you guys again. We'll see you next time. Bye.